Hey, GED students, are you wondering what the concepts we're learning about here in Perfect Squares and Their Roots is actually going to look like on the test? <laughs> this one's a GED style example with a trick. Why are we not surprised? They love tricks. And if you aren't careful, you will, like, I don't even know, 90% of students get tricked by this one. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, what number would have to replace x to make the statement x squared equals the square root of 16 true? Now, I have so many, so many students who are like, I know. I know what the square root of 16 is, Kate. It's 4. And so they say x would have to equal 4. This is what they tell me. x would have to equal 4. And I say, you know what, guys? Guessing is cool. <laughs> but you better check your guess. I'm going to say it again. You better check your guess. It says what number would have to replace x to make that statement true. Let's see if it works. Okay. So here's my statement. x squared equals the square root of 16. Now, you don't have to understand too much about algebra to understand what they mean when they say the word replace. We do call that substitution in math. But when we're replacing, we're just trading out a letter, in this case x, for some value, in this case 4. They want us to trade it. But don't change anything else, okay, guys? I just replaced the x, but I'm not going to change anything else. So 4 squared, you're telling me, is equal to the square root of 16. Now, let's just look at the expression on the left-hand side separately from the expression on the right-hand side because we know how to simplify them both now. If we have numbers with no letters left, we can simplify them. So we could really see if these two things are equivalent. Well, let's do it. Look at the left-hand side. What's the expression there? 4 squared. Now, remember, mathematicians simplify down. If you're used to simplifying across an equal sign, you are going to make some errors in these kind of situations. So I'm going to simplify down. So underneath 4 squared, I will write the simplified, you guys think of it as the answer, but it's the simplified expression. So 4 squared is 16, true. But then look at the right-hand side. The right-hand side doesn't say just 16, you guys. You have a really bad habit of skipping over symbols that don't make sense to you. But the right-hand side doesn't just say 16. It says the square root of 16. There's some math to do over there. The square root of 16 is 4. We're asking what number times itself is equal to 16. Well, that number's 4, and now that they're simplified, I think this is easy to see that if you tell me four, you're a liar. Because if you try to tell me that X is four is gonna make this statement true, then you're trying to tell me that 16 is equal to four. And I say, you lie, and the truth is not in you. 16 is not equal to four. So it's okay to rely on your gut, and it's okay to even guess answers, but make sure you check them, okay? So that being said, I probably wouldn't have just gone straight to the guess if it was me, because I know as a mathematician, before I do anything, I simplify what I can simplify. So let's look back at the original statement. X squared is equal to 16, or I should say, ooh, I just screwed it up. Let me say it again, you guys. X squared is equal to the square root of 16. And why I wanted to go back to the beginning is there is some simplifying I can do with this equation. I see some math I know how to do. I know how to do the square root of 16. And so before I just jump to conclusions, can I do that? Can I make my equation a little simpler to understand by simplifying part of it? I sure can. The square root of 16, like we talked about, is 4. And now this is a whole different equation. You might say, well, why didn't you simplify the left-hand side, the x squared? I'm like, I can't. You know, I can't, I can't make x squared any simpler than what it is. But just by simplifying the right-hand side, I've made this make a lot more sense. What number squared is equal to 4? Hey, that's not 4. That's 2. What number squared is equal to 4? It'd have to be 2, right? 2 squared is equal to 4. So let's go back to our wording. What number would have to replace x? Well, the number 2. Woo! GED style. Tricks. Twists. Little things that if you're not paying attention, if you haven't fully developed your math reasoning, 
Yoga tricked and you won't even know why. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comment and I'll do my best to answer them.